Hi guys, welcome to episode 22 of Q-Tips with Techie Carrie. Today we're going to briefly talk about parent communication and I created a new and easy way to send parents one link at the beginning of the school year and then they just have to keep going back to that one link and they can see everything. And in addition, the kiddos are going to be responsible for this newsletter. So I can't wait to show you. Hi guys, I wanted to share with you a quick tip about newsletters and just general communication with parents. So I've recently taken on the role as a gifted and talented teacher. And when I wanted to communicate with my students, um, parents, I wanted it to be something that was ongoing. It wasn't just a static information that I was giving them. It was something they could look at, and look at into the future, go back and look at things from the past and so forth. And I also wanted it to be student centered because I wanted the kids to take ownership of it. So what I have created is a Google slide presentation. And as you can see, I have lots of empty slides over here because I want to show the parents like this is what's coming up. And so what I've started is I actually printed out this slide today, sent it home with my kiddos. I told them this is the only time that it will be in paper. And what I have done is I created a bit.ly and all of my kiddos have seen Bentley. We've used them before in my classroom. And so their job tonight is to go home to the parents and show them how to get to this bit.ly. Okay. And then I also put all the links to my social media down here. Now, what I've done today during our Horizons class, we call it Horizons, is that I've, I've had the kids use Screencastify to show their parents what they're currently working on, what they're making, what their thoughts, and so forth. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep adding to the same slide presentation all the rest of the school year. And then there are going to be automatic updates for the parents. I think this is going to be a great way for me to continually add to this easily without having to send out a new link and so forth. Um, also, my kiddos love to make screencastifies, so why not let them take ownership of it? So basically, as the teacher... I'm just creating that shortened link. I'm introducing it to the parents. And then from there, the kiddos are going to take ownership of it and go from there. So just wanted to share that quick tip with you. I think it's something that you can easily do at the start at the beginning of the school year and just kind of work through and add to the rest of the year. Um, obviously, when you share this link with parents, you're going to hit the share button and make sure that anyone with the link can view. Do not give the parents editing rights and then hit done. And of course, with your Screencastify videos, make sure that the video's privacy is set correctly where that anyone with the link can view the videos. Okay, let me know if you try this. I think it's a great tip, and I'll talk to you soon.